Hey YouTube, topic today, Bible contradictions. I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes and maybe talk about the Bible and some of its contradictions. A popular contradiction in the Bible actually comes from the Old Testament. And um, what I chose to go with today is the Jewish translation. I feel that this is probably the most um, applicable translation to use for this passage. I think it gives the most... Um, contextual understanding. So, so let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 22 where um, the Bible says that if a woman is raped that she should marry her rapist. This is actually not at all what the Bible teaches. This is not what God teaches. This is not godly. For all the atheists out there that believe that God doesn't exist because of this being one of the many reasons that if you are raped, then you are to marry your rapist for life. What a tyrant. The guy is out of his mind if he thinks that's justice. And you know what? I agree with you. I totally and completely agree with atheists on this point. If that's what the Bible said, it would be horrific. That's not what the Bible says. Let's actually look at it and read it in its context. So verse 22 We'll start in verse 22, and it says, If a girl who is a virgin is engaged to a man, and another man comes upon her and has sexual relations with her, you are to bring them both before the gate of the city and stone them both to death. So if a woman who's engaged or is married has an affair, both her and the husband is, or her and the person that she had the affair with is to die. Verse 25 says, but if the man comes upon an engaged girl out of the country and the man grabs her and has sexual relations with her, then only the man who had intercourse with her is to die. He will, You will do nothing to the girl because she has done nothing deserving of death. The situation is like the case of a man who attacks his neighbor and kills him. So the Bible says that rape is like killing your neighbor. For he found her in the countryside, and the engaged girl cried out, but there was no one to hear her. So the Bible clearly teaches in verse 25 and 26 and verse 27 that the punishment for rape is to kill the rapist. Verse 28, the verse under question, says this, if a man comes upon a girl who is a virgin, but who is not engaged, and he grabs her and has sexual relations with her, and they are caught in the act, then the man who has had, had intercourse with her must give the girl's father one and a quarter pounds of silver, and she will become his wife, <clears throat> because he humiliated her. He may not divorce her as long as he lives. So basically is what this verse is saying is if you have intercourse with a non-married woman who is not engaged, then you're to man up and take responsibility for her for the rest of her life. Because in this context, with this time and era, she was ruined. Nobody wanted to be with somebody who had slept with somebody else. Things are a little different in our culture and that's totally acceptable. In this culture, nobody would have wanted to marry a woman who has slept with another man. She would have, as it says, been humiliated. Nobody would want to be with her. He was saving her reputation, her virtue. He was actually protecting and cherishing this woman. God puts down this law that the man needs to man up and take responsibility for his actions. If you're going to sleep with a woman, you're going to marry her. And that's just all there is to it. So as for the Bible giving credence for rape, no, not on that verse. The Bible does not contradict. So, th so thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye. <laughs> Funny to me.